I thought it would be fun to make another demo of how SSVM is integrated into Rika. So first, let's run this Java Crackme that I found. Of course, I need to give it a password, and if I do, it'll tell me it's most likely incorrect. So let's peek at this program in Recaf. Okay, it's very simple. We just have two functions here, main and XOR. The main function checks if the input has at least one argument, and if it does, it gets the first one. Then we check if that value here is equal to some other value here. Of course, if it is not matching, we get the message that we saw before, but if we do match, we get the correct message. So how do we figure out what this actually is supposed to be? Of course, there is a field called correct password, but as you notice, it is being passed through this XOR function. So if I do paste this in, you can see the correct password field isn't correct just yet. We actually need to run it through the XOR function. So normally how you would do this is you would copy and paste the decompiled code into an IDE and then paste it in yourself and see what the return value is. But that's messy. So Recap 3 makes that very nice with integration of SSVM. And all this is done through the virtualized menu. So let's use the first item, run. Of course, what this is going to do is we can pass in a argument or number of arguments, if there are more than one, to a function and see what the return value is. So I'm going to pass in a bunch of A's just to demo how this works. And of course, I can make this longer just in case this isn't immediately obvious that's a repeating pattern. So we take in some string, and for every character in it, we're going to XOR it by the current index in the string modulo by 3. So that gives us this nice repeating pattern. Of course, if we paste in our field value of correct password, it'll give us some other text back. Then we can go and paste this in, and we see that that is indeed the correct password. So in essence, SSVM allows us to virtually sandbox a method call and figure out what it does by poking and, pro and prodding it with a variety of different parameters. Of course, you can see this is other feature. Let's show that off. So context, we know that the correct password reference here is always going to be this text here. It will never change. And this is a static function, and there's not really anything here that's non-deterministic. So we can safely assume that any return value of this assigned to, uh, uh, not assigned, uh, along with a constant input will yield a constant output. So let's see this in action. I don't need to provide the correct password here because of another trick that we use at SSVM. But if I click this button, you can see, bam, we are indeed getting the correct password inlined. We know that the input is this, we know that the output is that, and because everything involved is constant, we can inline it, giving us the exact password we're looking for being compared directly instead of through a method call. It's pretty convenient. And this train of thought applies to basically all forms of obfuscation. So multiple forms of string obfuscation, number obfuscation, all of that can generically just be inlined using SSVM's integration in Recaf. It's very convenient for crack meets like this. And going forward, when we add more features to it, I imagine it'll be very powerful against most basic obfuscations. Although, I do think some complex obfuscation will also fall victim to SSVM.